Welcome back to Card Curiosity. We've got something special for you today. We are always trying to figure out what's the best possible way to make money in the collecting hobby, um, specifically with boxes, with flipping, things like that. We know it's pretty difficult to do with boxes, but we have something special for today. We're going to start a new series called the 12 Days of Christmas, and we have 12 boxes of Christmas for you today. So day one, box one, our favorite boxes. We're going to do 12 of them here. And today, just one, uh, we're going to start with one of our favorites of the year. 2023 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Edition. This was a very, very fun open when we first got the product. Um, it sold out really fast. We were lucky to get four boxes. We've already opened three, so box number four here is our first box of the Christmas series. So I'm going to jump right in. If you remember, these these boxes are, are very fun. There's a really nice checklist, okay? Um, I believe there's 100, 100 players total or 100 prospects and 100 MLB players um so there's not a lot of bad not a lot of bad players in here to pull um you get 32 cards in the box each box um ran about a 230 a piece you know now on ebay you can find them for 275 or so they're hard to find right now um part of the reason they're hard to find is because there's a lot of good stuff in here so this year they brought autographs in um but those are so stinking rare. The autographs are, it doesn't say here, but I think the autographs are like one in every four cases or something. So you should expect two parallel cards, get a little color um, in here. We were lucky enough to pull, uh, I think three, almost three per box. Um, so I think we had, I think we had eight, eight or nine colored cards when we did this originally uh, with our three boxes. So I'm hoping, hoping we can do the same thing here. We'll see what we have here. Looks like there's a gold. Gold in here, I don't know about red. I was hoping for red. And I was hoping for more than two. But it looks like we might just get the two here. So let's see. Hopefully we can get some big names. Um, all right. First color right off the rip. Now to 99. We have a Bowman first of Jad here. Aranamo. Have not heard of him. He's with the Brewers, it looks like. Young guy, about 20 years old. So um, we'll have to keep an eye on him. Let's see. Uh, See where he's at. It's not a card we're going to be able to sell very quickly. Um, Kevin Parada, that's a, a prospect we're definitely keeping an eye on. Ruiz, Giancarlo, Mejia. I think he's a prospect still. Junior Caminero, so that's a good, a good one who's ex uh, just... It's not colored, but um, he's expected to be pretty good and make some noise. Um, we got a couple of the MLB studs. You got Luis Angel, Acuna, Ender and Rodriguez, Bowman first, Joey Votto. Hey, that's nice. Okay, we'll take that. Gunnar Henderson. That might be an image variation too. I'm trying to remember, I think it is. If that's an image variation, then this could bring you a pretty nice, pretty nice amount of money up here. So, rookie of the year, Gunnar Henderson, already looking to be a good pack. Spencer Jones, like him. Hey, Felnin Celestine, I think he's he's really hyped up right now. Number two prospect in the MLB signing um, this past uh, winter. So that's pretty nice. Um, Yoshi. Hey, Michael Harris, rookie card. All right, this turned out to be a pretty good box. Um, Harris, the rookie of the year, uh, two years ago. And we're going to have, looks like a rookie card here. 
Angels. Zach Neto out of 50. Okay. Zach Neto, 50. Rookie card. So pretty solid pull there. You can take that. I know he's doing doing decent things for the Angels. They're expected to. Um, let's keep going here. Bowman first. Bryce Harper. That's a good one. Um, just the base. Even the base cards here are are pretty solid um, of the good players. They'll they'll be able to to sell for at least you know five or ten bucks probably. Um, Nolan Arenado, Bryce Terang, rookie Cam Collier. We like Cam Collier. Expect him to be good, if not this year, next year. Um, he'll probably be getting called up. We have Emmanuel Valdez, rookie. My rookie Dylan Jorge, and finally a Jace Young. Um, there we go. So that that's where we're at today. Um, these these Christmas videos should be pretty short since we're just doing one. But again, these are our favorites. Um, we kind of wanted to circle back on our favorites of the year for this 12 Days of Christmas series, and. Um, I don't know, just, just do a recap, one more for, for each one, just to see what, uh, I guess remind everybody what, what our favorites have been throughout the year. Um, my guess with this gunner, we, the Netto, um, is probably going to be pretty nice. We might be able to get 30, 40 bucks for that if we grade it even more. The gunner, Man, I'm trying to remember. I do think this is an image variation, so I I think you're probably talking about $50 to $100 for this card. Um, being an image variation. If it is, because I think those are the special jerseys, and so that, that'll be pretty nice. Um, so, again, cost boxes cost us about $225, $230, and... Between Neto and Gunner, um, you know, we can sell the current MLB players right away. You know, the prospects, sometimes we might need to sit on before they, um, the cards become worth something. So hopefully we get most of that 200 back through these other, through the Gunner, through the Neto. And um, yeah, we'll see. You can see why we like, why we like this box, even though there's not a ton of cards, usually. There's a lot of good that comes from them um, because the checklist is so nice. So hope you like this. Um, Merry Christmas. We'll see you back next time for our next box in the 12 Days of Christmas series. Catch you later.